crankshaft installed we can go ahead and start putting our pistons in now you already found out how to uh, attach the rods to the pistons in a late in an earlier video now we got to put these on the crankshaft one thing to be careful about whoever you got your pistons from in my case it's Wysico um, they have a certain way that they want the piston rings to be oriented um, it'll usually be in the little instruction booklet that came with your rings um, I went ahead and marked those places on this piston and if you have Wysco pistons also it, with your rings there is a little pink piece of paper that will tell you where you want the rings to be oriented for the Wysco pistons. Each supplier might be different so just pay attention to what your piston supplier tells you to do. Okay so our first step is to orient these rings and put the ring compressor on the piston so we can put the piston inside the cylinder. Make sure you oil the rings um, just so they don't scratch up the cylinders when you put them down. Double check the orientation of your rings. Um, mine are still good. And now you have to put the ring compressor on the piston. This is kind of a tricky. This is the best way I've found to do it. Um, put the piston in your lap like this. Okay. Hold it so it doesn't go anywhere. Double check your rings once more. Now make the ring compressor kind of big so it doesn't touch your rings yet. Put it over the piston and then tighten it down. Uh, yeah. Already moved. You have to be really careful and make sure you, that your rings don't um, go out of place. Okay, and then just tighten down, double check, make sure that none of the rings are sticking like too far out. Okay, now we can slide this into the engine. Okay, one more thing before you put it in the engine. We need a bearing here, um, and installing a bearing here is the same as everything else. Put the notched end in first and then clip it, push it down. Just like that. Um, and do the same thing, make sure that the bearing isn't actually going um, over the edge of this. Um, you can use anything, just give it a slight tap. To get both edges even. Um, we're gonna put some assembly loop here and then we can start putting it into the engine. Okay, here is where you want to be really careful. Um, this is where things can go wrong really fast. First of all, oil up the cylinder before you do anything. You don't want to scratch your cylinder walls. Let's just put some oil in here. Okay. Now, <sighs> grab your piston. There's a mark on most pistons that point to the front of the engine. On Wysico, there's a dot right there, and there's actually FWD that points forward. In our other video, we also lined up the eagle on the rods with that dot. Just make sure that the dot is facing the front of the engine. After you do that, slowly lower your piston rod into the cylinder 
make sure it all lines up. There should be no complaining. Okay, now comes the tricky part. Get the butt end of a hammer, or something wooden, something soft, and tap on the top of your piston until it goes in. If there's any resistance, stop, pull it out, and see what's happening. Because this is where you could possibly break a piston ring, and that is that would not be fun. So, slightly tap on the top, and the piston will start going down. Okay, piston is in. Nice and smooth, it's not complaining, so we're good. Now we gotta flip over the engine, put the rod cap on, torque it down, and the piston is installed. Okay, now with the engine flipped over, slowly push from the bottom your piston be really careful, you don't want it hitting anything, especially the oil squirter on the K. Push up, and now when it gets near the top, you're gonna wanna guide the bottom of this piston rod into the journal. Let's see if we can get a better angle. All right. Okay, now we can put our rod bearing cap on. One thing to make sure of is that you put your bearing in here. Same deal as before. Okay, after you have assembly lube on your rod bearing caps, you have to install them on your rod bearing. And make sure that you install it the same orientation that it came off when it was uh, shipped to you. I put a mark here um, on each one. So this was number two. So the other half of this number two is gonna be on the rod. So that's what I'm gonna line it up with. Now take your, uh, with Eagle Rods they send you ARP hardware. Make sure you put the Molly Lube on the bolt threads before you install it. Um, this will give you a proper torque reading when you torque down the bolt. Now for the KA, the Rod bolts are 12 point heads, the 12 millimeter diameter. I've got this awesome socket from Craftsman that works on any bolt head. Okay, now with the Molly Lube, um, the torque for these is 43 foot pounds. Um, I tighten it down to 21st and then go up to 40, sorry, 43. Okay, so, tighten them evenly so that nothing weird happens. Okay, that's 43, now I'm, I mean that's 25, now I'm gonna go up to 43. double check and that's about it make sure everything's moving smoothly and you can use the same process to install the last two pistons
All right, there you have it. Our bottom end build is complete. All four cylinders are in. Everything is torqued down. So, congratulations. You now know how to assemble a bottom end. Next thing you do is slap the head on and then uh, do the timing and the rest of the accessories. Um, I'm not actually gonna do a head install video um, because I didn't show you how to take it off. Um, but I will do one in the future and I will do a timing video um, how to set your timing on your timing chain. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I'm pretty excited. This engine has been a long time in the making because of time constraints and whatnot. But the bottom end is finally put together and I'm ready to move on. So as always, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Um, thanks to all my current subscribers for all the support. You guys are giving me awesome feedback and it's kind of just pushing me forward and making me do more videos. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.